Good day, my name is Kobe Cypher and welcome to my channel. Today, we will be unlocking seamless communication with Zigo Cloud. Have you ever wanted to build your own video call app, voice call app, or even a live streaming platform without diving deep into complex coding? Well, then I have got good news for you. The answer is Zigo Cloud. Zigo Cloud offers amazing UI kits that allow developers to create these applications with these, of course, thanks to its low code approach. And so, whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting out, these UI kits provide everything you need to know to bring your ideas to life. And the best part of all this is you can get started for free. Just by registering with Zigo Cloud, you get to receive a whooping 10,000 free minutes to kickstart your project. Signing up on their platform is quick and easy. Just head over to their website, fill out a simple form, and voila, you are good to go. Let's walk through the registration process together. First, enter your first and last names in the designated fields. Next, select your country from the drop down menu. Then, input your email address. Once done, click on the Get Code button. Now, on the click of the Get Code button, a verification code will be sent to the email address you provided. And so, access your email and retrieve the code. When you retrieve it, you can either type it here manually or copy and paste it into the verification field on the Zigo Cloud registration page. Next, choose a strong password for your Zigo Cloud account. For security purposes, Ensure the password meets the specified criteria over here. Before finalizing your registration, carefully review the information you have provided. Make sure all details are accurate. Additionally, check these boxes, especially the second one, to indicate your agreement with the Zeco Cloud's terms and conditions. Once you have completed all these steps and verified your information, click on the button below. If the data provided is correct, your registration will be successful and you will gain access to the Zego Cloud Console. When you land on the beautifully designed Zego Cloud Console, you should check out for the 10,000 free minutes that has been given to you just by registering. Now click on Create Your Project. On the Project Creation page, you will see some of the UI kits offered by Zego Cloud. For instance, they have a voice and video call kit. This helps you to implement a fully featured voice and video call experience for your users. A video conference kit. With this, you can build anything from a video calling app to a Zoom-like app to maximize efficiency. A live streaming kit. This helps you to implement wonderful live stream experience on your page. In-app chat kit. This provides a comprehensive solution for integrating chat functionality into your applications, offering a wide range of features and customization options. And there are tons of other UI kits that are designed to be flexible and customizable, allowing you to build a variety of apps with ease. To evaluate the platform's efficacy, I have developed a video call application utilizing the voice and video UI kit. The process, I must say, was straightforward and yielded impressive results. Let me walk you through what I have done. Utilizing Vrit, I have established a React-based project that integrates several essential packages for enhanced functionality. For those of us interested in replicating the process, the code repository link is provided in the video description. Upon accessing the code base, Executing npm install will ensure the acquisition of the requisite packages. Within the index.html file, I have updated the project title. In the main file and within the render method, I have specified the root element using the react-dom.create root. This ensures optimal performance and scalability. I have also encapsulated the component within a React.Street mode wrapper. This ensures adherence to best practices. Through the browser router component, the application is equipped to handle routing seamlessly. Next, within the app function, 
I have defined the routing logic and thus directing users to different views based on the specified paths. With respect to the room component, it is invoked when the path includes a dynamic parameter, room ID. This enables users to access specific rooms within the application. In cases where the specified path does not match any of the defined routes, the not found component is rendered, providing users with feedback regarding the invalid route. Next, in the welcome component, user interactions and state management are facilitated through the utilization of use state and use navigate hooks from React Router DOM. Within the component, a local state, that is room ID, is initialized using use state. This allows for dynamic updates based on the user input. Additionally, the use navigate hook is employed to enable programmatic navigation within the application. The handle room join function is defined to handle user input and initiate navigation to the specified room. Upon clicking the join room button, the function logs the entered room ID to the console and then navigates the user to the corresponding room page, which is dynamically generated based on the entered room ID. The user interface will present a welcoming message alongside an input field prompting the user to enter a room ID. And so as users enter their desired room ID, the state is updated accordingly. Upon clicking the join room button, the handle room join function is triggered, facilitating seamless navigation to the specified room within the application. Finally, in the room component, the Zico Cloud UI Kits Prebuilt library is utilized. This is done alongside the use params hooks from React Router DOM. This helps to facilitate room-specific functionality within the application. The use params hook extracts the room ID parameter from the URL, enabling dynamic room identification and configuration. Within the component, the myMeeting function is defined to handle the initiation of room-specific functionalities. This function asynchronously generates a key token using the provided room ID and other necessary parameters. It then creates an instance object from the kit token using the Zigo Cloud UI kit prebuilt library. The join room method is invoked on the instance object to initiate the room session. Now, various configuration options are also provided. This includes the container element where the room session will be displayed. I have also included the communication session, in this case, one on one call. You can also opt in for group call. And then I am also displaying the room timer. The components return statement specify a div element with a ref attribute set to the my meeting function. This ensures that the room session is properly initiated and displayed within the component DOM element. The bottom line here is that the entire program consists of three main components, the app component, the welcome component, and the room component and all have been integrated within a React application utilizing the React router for navigation. And so in the end, the program enables users to seamlessly navigate between the landing page and room sessions. This facilitates a real-time communication within the application. And this was made possible by Zego Cloud. What I did was that I visited the URL you see here and I'll put this URL in the description. I installed the Zego Cloud package by copying this NPM code and running it in my terminal. Choose the use case I want to use or the UI kit. Choose my technology, in this case, web with JavaScript, and then choose the appropriate framework I'm using. In my case, React, but you can choose any of them here. Afterwards, I copy this code and then configure it to suit what I want to do. I ignored the room ID and the get URL params methods. I removed the room IDs from the kit token object, passed the current date, and then added a string. And then I added the show room timer. Make sure you use your own app ID and server secret. To get that, go to your console or your dashboard, click on project, click on project management, click on the project you are working with, and then you will see it over here. There you have it. The app ID, this is a secret key and then that should be the app ID. As you can see, the update I spoke about, I have, I'm using current date, and then I'm using a string, and so I have made update to this line of code. You can do same if you want to follow along. 
I have also commented out these lines of code. I don't need it. If you need it, you can uncomment it. And then I have also set the showroom timer to true. It's now time to test the project. And so open your terminal, type npm run dev, hit enter, copy this localhost URL, launch your browser, open a new tab, type or paste what you copied, and then also hit enter. And that is the project. And so over here, we enter the room ID, and then we click on join room. And there you have it. You can decide to off your camera, mute your microphone, or click on the join button to join a room. So this is what you see when you join the room. Remember, this is a one-on-one -on -one call. As I said earlier on, users have the option to deactivate their camera and mute their microphone. Users have the capability to exit the room at their own discretion. Additionally, they can interact with the various interface buttons, such as testing the chat feature. You do this by sending messages. Regarding leaving the room, users are presented with the choice to either confirm or cancel their departure. Upon confirmation, the user exits the room. Additionally, users have the option to rejoin the room at a later time if desired. A user can also decide to return home. And that concludes our tutorial on integrating video call functionality into a React based application using Zeko Cloud. Until our next encounter, stay safe and keep exploring.